Hi and welcome back to my channel. Today we're going to be looking at production of alcohol. All alcohol produced for drinking is made through a process called fermentation. Enzymes present in yeast can convert glucose into ethanol through fermentation. Enzymes are biological catalysts that work under specific conditions. They require a particular temperature and pH to work. This is the word equation for fermentation. When we place a word over the arrow, this represents a catalyst. It speeds up the reaction but is not involved itself. In the production of ethanol from glucose through fermentation, we also produce carbon dioxide gas. This can also be represented using a symbol equation. Different plants are used to produce different alcoholic beverages. Grapes are used to produce wine. Barley is used to produce beer and also whiskey. Potatoes are used in the production of vodka. Sugar cane is used to produce rum and apples are used to produce cider. Eventually, the alcohol produced during fermentation stops the enzymes in yeast from working. It poisons the yeast. This limits the concentration of alcohol that can be produced by fermentation. This is often measured as a percentage. To achieve higher concentrations of ethanol for the production of spirits, distillation is carried out. Ethanol has a boiling point of 79 degrees Celsius and water has a boiling point of 100 degrees Celsius. Distillation separates the mixture by heating. Ethanol boils first and is collected by cooling and condensing. This produces a much higher percentage of alcohol. Pause the video now and try and answer these questions. Enzymes are biological catalysts. The process used to produce ethanol is called fermentation. The word equation for this process is glucose with yeast as a catalyst to produce ethanol and carbon dioxide. It is not possible to produce high percentages of ethanol during this process as the alcohol poisons the yeast. The process used to increase the concentration of ethanol is called distillation. This process works by heating a mixture which has different boiling points. Pause the video now and match the plant to the beverage. Apples are used to produce cider. Sugar cane is used to produce rum. Barley is used to produce beer. Grapes are used to produce wine and potatoes are used to produce vodka. The alcohol content of drinks is measured in units. Units are calculated by multiplying the percentage of alcohol in a drink by the volume and then dividing by a thousand. A single unit is equivalent to one measure of spirits. The NHS guidelines are that men and women shouldn't drink more than 14 units a week and should spread these over three or more days. A single shot of spirits of 25 millilitres is worth one unit. A small glass of wine at 125 mils is 1.5 units and a standard glass of wine at 175 millilitres is 2 units. A can of beer is also 2 units whereas a pint of beer is 3 units. A large glass of wine at 250 mils is also 3 units. Pause the video now and calculate the total number of units. In this first example we have 2 cans of beer and each can is worth 2 units. That means we have a total of four units. In the second example, we have one pint of beer, which is worth three units, and one whiskey, which is one unit, giving a total of four units. In the third example, we have a small glass of wine at 1.5 units, and one vodka, which is one unit, so 2.5 units. In example four, we have two large glasses of wine, each worth three units. This is six in total. And in the last example, we have one standard glass of wine, which is two units, plus two cans of beer, each two units, plus one pint of beer, which is three units. This gives a total of nine units. Thank you for watching my video. I hope that you found it helpful. Please remember to subscribe and ring the bell to be notified of new videos throughout the year. 
You can also follow me on Twitter at Miss Adams Chem and Instagram Miss Adams Chemistry for flashcards throughout the year. Bye for now.